Okay, so, hey there, guys, we're back with The Temple of No. It's a game by Crows, 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 same people who made Dr. Langeskov, the tiger, the terrible, whatever, what it was, the terrible tiger, the, Dr. Langeskov, the tiger, the terrible, and the terribly cursed diamond of World 1 Heist, I think that's what it was. And this is gonna be different because it's in a browser, so I'm just recording, like, the whole, my whole thing, right? All this, the whole screen. So this, so this game is made in Twine. Click on underline words to put Twine. Yeah, well, nobody's perfect. Okay. Hello. This story may fright and disturb you, but if you have a strong stomach, a smart brain box, and a cool face, then perhaps you're brave enough to hear it. Story. Hello. This story. Wait. Please don't interrupt while I'm explaining what's about to go down. This story. May fright and disturb you. Or the story. Listen, this is Twine. You're acting like you've never played a Twine before. So please just. Mm. This story. What? Seriously? Never played a Twine before? Well, you're about to be spoiled because this is the best Twine ever made. Yeah, that's right. Even better than the beginning of Firewatch. Twine is. This, I guess? I don't know. This Twine. This tw the joke isn't funny anymore, and it's your fault for continuing to click on it. Don't do this again. This is so. This is a twine. Is this? This twine may frighten and disturb you, but if you have a strong stomach, a smart brain box, and a cool face, then perhaps you're brave like a storm. Enough of that. This isn't about you. Anyway, are you ready? Yeah. No. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> it just opens up and it yes. Good. This is a story that took place along. This is a, right. That is not more. It's no more. It, uh, right it is a that, right. Right. That is a. This is a right. That is no more of these. That took place a long time ago. It's a good one. Anyway, let's get out this old dusty tome and hear the, this fantastic tale. It's called the Big Fat Book. The Brave Explorer, The Jungle of Doubt, and The Temple of No, presented by Crows, Crows, and Crow. Well, it's Crows, Crows, Crows. Like a storm. Uh, <laughs> Let's begin. Okay, so this is a magical book. Its magic power is to be incredibly relatable. Are we, are we a woman, a bloke, or a frog? We're a frog. Okay, I'm going to level with you. You're playing the real game here. I had to write a whole load of bullshit about subverting the expectations of twine games for the man and woman options. And to be honest, I don't think those jokes are brilliant. This frog story is actually genuinely what the what this whole game is about. In fact, I'm going to now stop putting my any actual effort into writing the other branches of dialogue, and I'm going to focus entirely on this one. Well done for picking the interesting option. I hope you like it. Let's go. Old Master Frog lived in Slimy Bottom, a small fishing village down in the heart of Yorkshire. It paddled a b small boat around and ferried smaller animals to and fro from each side of the pond. And on, on Sundays, it paddled down to the animal market and buy twelve fly cakes, one for each of its tadpole children. Just ignore that phone. I'm not answering it. But this Sunday was different. There was a strange taste in the air as it paddled down the stream. It knew its cold blood, froggy heart that missed. That it missed the days of wild adventure in its youth. It had traveled, it had traveled the world and explored new non-froggy areas. Many of its discoveries had shaped the development of frog culture and frog history. But after enjoying the quiet life, Frogo knew it was time to step foot into the world of adventure once more. Now here's a crash course on our oh, frog's old adventure history. No one, no one left a message. Who was it? Master Frog lost an eye in a massive fucking fight with a baboon. It killed the baboon, and it was one badass frog. Okay, this is gonna have cussing and stuff, so if you're uncomfortable with that, I I'd say leave. Don't fuck with the frog. It once traveled to Antarctica and stole 22 penguin eggs. It is a master of stealth, and it could sneak up on you and break your neck easily. Really easily. Frog's legs over here jumped over an entire fence like a set of human- like a human-sized fence. To escape a frog prison compound set up by the UK government after Frog uncovered their evil plot to attempt to rig the frog elections. If th it then went back and saved all the other frogs, and you should be thanking the fr its froggy eyes. Okay, you're ready. Let's get down. Let's get down straight into the story. Okay. Fucking jungle transition and audio. You noticing this? 
Depre depression Quest didn't have this. I, I, I've seen Depression Quest somewhere, but I didn't, like, want to play it. I don't know, I might. It's, oh, yeah, it's on Steam, I think. And, right. Right, let's go right into the story. Master Frog entered the Jungle of Doubt on his journey to find... The map that sees all things that have ever... That ever have been or will be... But in map form. The map was legendary. The old tales spoke about it. Yeah, you know the old tales. Yeah. Anyway, so Master Frog knew it proper wanted the map to tell it the secrets of the universe. It brought the map back to civilization. It would truly achieve grace, gr greatness. It knew it in its cold blood, slimy frog heart. The temple held that held the map was close. The jungle of doubt. Swamp of suspicion. Tree of uncertainty. Skull of Steve. <laughs> Master Frog looked up, down, all around. Up. Up at the mossy green leaves of the, of the giant jungle trees that reached high above it. They spread out, and sometimes you could barely see the sun. It was in the heart of the jungle. And it knew its price was near down. Down at the ground. It didn't know why it was looking down. But it could see some dirt, a bit of a gum wrapper, some tourist or jungle resident had left on the floor. Clean up your litter, kids. Don't pollute the environment, you little turds. All around. All around at the jungle surrounding it had to cut through the leaves and brush and flora and jungle debris in order to get to the temple. That it was going to. As Master Frog cut through the leaves and brush and flora and jungle debris, it thought about some shit. Master Frog thought about how its feet were hurting a bit. It wished it had bought some... Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe. <laughs> Trademarked. Continued to think. Master Frog thought about how his nose is itchy. If he'd bought Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe, it would likely have made, had such comfortable feet that it wouldn't be bothered by a meager nose itch. It continued to think. Geox, the shoes that breathe. Master Frog wasn't there yet. It still had much more jungle to cut through. So, it sang a little song. You might play I'm gonna sing right to the background. If you don't, you will know that you have let yourself down. If you really don't really fucking enjoy this game, you will you put these are the lyrics to song. I am cutting leaves. I am pushing past the trees. I am slashing away at these I brush floor and jump up the breeze. My name is Master Frog and I am singing a song. Take up the time I'll travel along to the path of the temple of no that is where I'm going. I'm cutting the leaves, I'm passing, pushing past the trees. I'm slashing away at these brush floor and jungle debris. I'm going on an adventure today. I'm not doing this at all, but this game is really, really fun to play. Swine games can be fun. I will shout. Check out me singing in the jungle of doubt. I am cutting the leaves. I am pushing past the trees. I am slashing away at these brush, floor, and jungle debris. Soon I'll be at the temple and know. Look, it's got lots of treasure and I'm going to go. Take some back to my hometown. Keep it for myself and not share any around. I am cutting the leaves. I am pushing past the trees. I am slashing away at these brush, floor, and jungle debris. If you didn't sing the song, then you know you've let yourself down. You need to let yourself have fun in life. Don't try and be serious. If you didn't sing the song, please scroll back up and try again. If you did sing the song, well done. You were cool now. Okay, I'm going to end this, but I'm going to do multiple parts on this because I want to do it.